Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to today's world final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 10 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 28th of January and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SNC Affairs and ECM Ensembles. Maybe we'll try a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the middle of February and I should get home back for you in a moment. Just say about the first minute today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've also released week weekend Forecast on the each day of 42 day for UK and Ireland. Please check out all today's videos and content. Show show everyone for dear Matt. Like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, we only put on around, I think it's around 80 subscribers to get ourselves to 19.5k. Uh, so you could give us that'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely uh, Saturday as well. So much tuning in to Gals Web, it's on your Saturday. Right, central England temperature is currently sitting at 2.6, that is 1.2 degrees below 61 to 99 average in provisional to uh, yesterday to the 17th of uh, January. Very gradually, this is easing its way up, but it is a slow old process for the first 17 days of the month. It certainly is quite cold. These are GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks, we're at London today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. However, an inversion is taking place on the surface, which means it's colder on the surface than it is a lot. Oh, a uh, pretty cold weekend, actually. Temperatures hovering close to freezing day. And night. Now, next week, you find the upper air temperatures coming back closer to the long term average terms of the upper air temperatures, but conversely, the surface temperature will actually uh, lift up and it's going to turn a lot more unsettled as well. Precipitation wise, we see a lot of dry weather until about Wednesday, Thursday. Then it starts turning much more unsettled and it does look as though the last week of January into the beginning of February will be unleashing a deluge. If we have a look at sea level pressure, you can see there are changes on the way. So we're starting off with relatively high pressure at the moment at about 1,030 millibars. But by the end of this coming week, uh, the ensemble graph there is showing that pressure is going down to between 980 and 1,000 millibars. Clearly a significant decline in pressure is on the way. Maybe hints of that pressure starting to rise a little bit as we get into the start of the February. But of course, that's extended range and is therefore a long way off but that's telling us that low pressure is on the way and potentially some very deep areas of low pressure with some of those ensemble members perhaps going as low as 970 or even 960 millibars good gracious me haven't got a temperature precipitation numbers again today unfortunately so we move straight on to the latest wind flow that from earth nordschool.net showing that low pressure is in the atlantic being held at bay currently by plenty of high pressure over the continent However, this high pressure's days are numbered, and uh, we'll see the high pressure gradually weakening and retreating in that direction through the course of the coming week as these areas of low pressure start heading in from off the Atlantic. So by this time next week, we're going to be in a proper Atlantic-driven wet and windy flow. Right, let's start again from the chart day to end. It's our late UK Met Euro run. Talking for midnight on Tuesday. Pressure gradually weakening. That'll be a trend. Three weeks slowly weakening uh, pressure and becoming more showery through the middle part of the week. However, it's at the end of the week with this big dartboard low bombing out in the middle of the North Atlantic. Going to go sweeping in from off the Atlantic uh, through Friday. And in Saturday, bring lots of heavy rain and gale force winds in with it. That's how Icon is looking again. Pressure gradually is weakening three of the course of the week, turning showery by the middle of the week, and then turning properly wet and windy at the end of the week and into the weekend with heavy rain and gale force winds sweeping in from off the Atlantic Ocean. Ah, uh, well, this is how the KMA is looking again, a little bit on the showery side through the early part of the week with plenty of low pressure in control. Check out that low just there. Goodness gracious me. Uh, looking really strong in that area of low pressure by this time next week. Next weekend, very, very wet and windy. Nice 
959.595 millibar area of low pressure dark or low right over the top of the country and uh, more low pressure coming in into the closing days of the month as well so this is going to be a very very wet windy maybe stormy final week to January quite cold in the north as well but at least it will be mild with those southwesterly winds down in the south but uh, we really are going to be under the Kosho thing through that last week of uh, January uh, the GFS Midnight Run, all much of a match of this for Tuesday and Wednesday, gradually weakening off the high pressure, and it's at the end of the week and into the weekend that we get this big area of low pressure, bringing heavy rain, severe gales sweeping in across the country, some hill snow in the north with that as well. Um, uh, that's right, it's a Saturday, and then Saturday to Sunday, and on into Monday, looking wet, windy, mildly myself south with southwest winds, quite cold though, up in the north, bit of cold zonality. And the low pressures keep on coming into the beginning of February as well. That's the first day of February. Again, another dartboard across the country and a secondary low in its way. Any of these lows from Friday onwards, right way to the beginning of February, have the potential to be named, I think, by the UK Met. So we could have a succession of uh, named areas of low pressure and named storms bringing gales and severe gales and whatnot. That's how we end up by the 3rd of February, dragging up some minor air from the Azores, but still looking unsettled. And the GFS 6Z looking like that. So uh, it's again at the end of the week and into the week um, with that area of low pressure bringing heavy rain and gale force winds, maybe stone on the northern edge of that low as well at the end of the week. And further low pressures are sweeping in from off the Atlantic. Very unsettled at day 10. Really, uh, really stormy spell of weather. And it goes on and on and on into the beginning of February as well so that gets us to the 3rd of February with uh, low pressure just knocking around the country it is quite a cold zonal pattern this so for northern areas expect significant amounts of snow as well as lots of heavy rain down in the south, it's just going to be cold. <laughs> just going to be cold rain, um, really. But over over Pennines, over Scottish mountains, this is a pattern that can deliver quite a bit of snow. In fact, if you've got a skiing holiday booked to um, the Cairngorms or whatnot <laughs> uh, in the start, at the start of February, I reckon there could be quite a lot of snow actually piled up from uh, this pattern. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Make sure to show everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos, content, live streams, etc, etc, etc. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Webbers and get them to subscribe too. And um, we thank you so much everyone for uh, doing that. We need to put on around 80 subscribers to get to 19.5k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much everyone. Uh, right, GM, again, uh, low pressure, uh, low pressure taking, oh, lower pressure, I should say, taking over through the early to middle part of this week as high pressure weakens. Uh, that's Thursday to Friday, not looking as stormy and more of a blocking high, interestingly, just to the north, trying to be become uh, a Scandi. However, we've got this deep area of low pressure developing Friday to Saturday in the Atlantic, but it kind of stalls against this Scandinavian high. So the GM are doing something different and still flirting a little bit with the Scandi. That's day 9, 27th of January. High pressure at Scandinavia. It's trying to pull around into uh, the east. Quite a lot of cold air sitting across northern Europe there. Um, and a proper old battle. By the time you get through today, Tim, we've got a proper battle going going on between low pressure in the Atlantic, high pressure over Scandinavia and in the uh, Norwegian Sea. Irresistible force meets the immovable object there. And which way that would go, you know, it's in the, it's in the lap of the weather gods, really, uh, which way that goes. But the GM doing something very, very different today. We're much more in the way of high pressure up towards Scandinavia and in the Norwegian Sea. Almost certainly a synoptic outlier. No other model is doing what the GM is doing. So I think for the time being, we ignore that. And we move on to the ECM. Let's not say it's wrong, but, you know, it's not supported anywhere else. So move on to 
to the ECM, and we look like this Tuesday. Pressure gradually weakening as a lower pressure begins to develop, and that's the trend through the course of the week. Then we've got this horrendous looking area of low pressure developing in the middle of the North Atlantic on Friday, sweeping in, bringing heavy rain and gale force wind potentially through the end of the week and into the weekend. And another deep low sweeps in through the Atlantic. But it's perhaps not quite as stormy as some of them, particularly the GFS. Um, but even so, it looks very unsettled with bouts of heavy rain and uh, whatnot. Probably a bit milder as well, especially so for England and Wales with this uh, East Shed run. But it's just variations of a theme, really, through the final week of January into the start of Feb, looking very unsettled with low pressure and plenty of wind and rain on the way. This is a precipitation forecast based on that uh, East Shed run, out to date um, from Tometro.com. So gradually turning a bit more showery for the early part of next week. Not going to be uh, a quick process to turn and set away. Not really until the end of the week, but we start bringing our proper, uh, you know, start bringing proper wet and windy weather in from the Atlantic. So that could turn to snow at the end of the week in the north, especially over high ground. And then there'll be further showers, if not longer spells of rain, sweeping in from off the Atlantic up to day 10. And beyond it, these are the October table within the ECM ensembles today. Four day ten for the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 28th of January. 18 members of the East Shelf Ensemble looking very unsettled with low pressure in from off the Atlantic. We're uh, properly in for it there. We've got 18, another 18, uh, with low pressure just out to the west, bringing lots of wet and windy weather in with it too. Nine pass a bit closer to the GM with higher pressure up towards the northeast, lower pressure through here. That's a bit of a battleground UK type situation. Only nine doing that, though. And six with low pressure in the Atlantic. High pressure down towards France. That's going to be a bit milder, um, but will still be unsettled. And then to his time... These are the options that we've got. It'll get us to the 2nd of February. 20 members of the ECM ensembles keep the onslaught going <laughs> with low pressure, bringing heavy bouts of rain for off the Atlantic. 19, perhaps raising the heights a bit more down towards uh, France, but still plenty of low pressure in the North Atlantic. That keeps it unsettled. It's just perhaps a bit drier in the south and a little bit milder. And then we've got 12, perhaps with uh, more of a Scandinavian high type influence that could bring the wind in from the east. So still a, you know, still a possibility that the high pressure could take over across Scandinavia and turn things colder for the start of February. But um, not particularly uh, well supported. Again, I'm sure yesterday it put 20 here together with 19 there. That comes out more or less at 40 uh, members of the ECM ensembles against 12 um, that are unsettled. So, best be to finally be the 500 millibar height and orange breakdown into your week periods. The first week period takes from the 18th to 24th of January. The next week sees higher pressure gradually slipping to the east as lower pressure is developing out in the Atlantic, leading us to week two which is the 25th to the 31st of January with deep low pressure in the Atlantic bouts of heavy rain being swept in along with strong winds as well week 3 is going to be the 1st and the 7th of February loads of low pressure in the Atlantic and looking unsettled as well and then finally week 4 will be the 8th to the 14th of February low pressure up towards Green Iceland high pressure down towards the Med and winds are coming in from a flat westy direction that looks unsettled uh, but at least it will be mild with winds in from the Atlantic up to the middle of February we have got a bit of high pressure blocking up here um, but up to that point, up to the middle of February, that having no impact. It's a mild outlook for the first half of February, but also unsettled. We shall see. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Make sure you share one. For doing that, drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to say friends about guys. Well, to get them to subscribe to only to put on 80 subscribers to get to 19.5k. Uh, Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, tomorrow, we're going to have a 6am UK boat forecast. We've got our second update for spring 2025. We're going to be live at 6pm with the 12 Z and uh, with Ensembles Watch as well. We may include a 10 to 14 day in the live stream, but we might do 10 to 14 day as a video at some point through the afternoon. So just watch this space on that but lots and lots of content to come tomorrow keep checking back to the channel for more you enjoy the rest of your saturday and for this one that's all for now and back to watching